What's up, girl gang, peeps, Padawans? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm Yoda Guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a cold beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum, and enjoy my reaction to the fifth episode of the Star Wars series, The Book of Boba Fett. And personally speaking, I'm thoroughly enjoying this series so far, while others for the most part, are either um, considered boring or it stinks, but, um, hey, it's their, uh, it's their uh, opinion on the matter um, when it comes to the series. Me, personally, I am enjoying the series uh, thoroughly, and especially the last episode where it hinted uh, that um, Boa Fett and, um, and Fennec Shan are, are recruiting, going to recruit, um, uh, uh, Mandalorian, the Mandalorian, Din Djarin, into the into the crew in order to fa uh, to face off against the war against the Pikes. I'm looking forward to that and the, the possibility of a, a baby Grogu showing up as well. Um, we know that he's off with uh, Luke Skywalker training uh, to become a Jedi, um, but hopefully we'll have a, a glimpse or maybe at the end of the episode. Who knows? But looking forward to this episode. It's, this episode is titled. The Return of the Mandalorian. So hopefully, maybe this is a, a, a Mandalorian, Din Djarin, and Cetric episode. So um, let's not waste any time um, because I'm fine with that. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's let's like I said, let's not waste any time before we get into the reaction part of this video. Go ahead if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be for my Inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel. Link is right out there. You know what to do. Support that channel. Um, help brother out. Um, like, and if, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted on your channel. And when it comes to that full length reactions, all unedited, they'll be posted either on my Patreon or Rumble. And when it comes to those full length reactions, you'll be able to seek up on your end to watch. And both links along with my social uh, media links posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, let's get into episode 5 of The Return of the Mandalorian. Alright, here we go. Alright. Starting off at some kind of meat packing plant. What kind of meat? Bantha? Oh, there he is. Mando. He has the Beskar spear with him. Some sketchy people here. <laughs> Employees. You look lost. I'm here for Cabo Baez. What makes you think he's here? The tracker. <laughs> what else? What do you want of him? He owes someone important money. I'll let him know. Wrong answer, bud. I see him right now. <laughs> That's him. That's not me. I'm gonna give the rest of you the opportunity to walk out that door. I have no quarrel with you. They're not going anywhere. Looks to me like you're surrounded. Let's discuss our options. I can bring you in warm. <laughs> He's saying it. You in cold. Here we go. Dark saber. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cut off his bounty's head. <laughs> I have no trouble with any of you. There's a pile of New Republic credits in there that I have no right to. If you do me the honor of letting me pass, you all can help yourselves to whatever you think you deserve. Yeah, why... Why fight when you get all the credits in there? It's a free for all. Yeah, buddy. That's a really long um space city, space, space colony of sorts. I wonder what ship he has now, since no longer has the um, Razor Crest destroyed 
<laughs> Awkward elevator ride. Been there. <laughs> Yo, Commander Shani, on this spot. I'd like my reward and the information you promised. He wants to keep himself busy. access shaft to the substrata? It's understandable because... You can keep your reward. There's a bounty on this Clatoonian. If you won't give me the information, someone else will. Hmm. All business, all the time. I'd put that on ice if I were you. <laughs> Yee, nasty wound. Ah, going predator mode again. Armor! She's here! Is it the armor? I knew it! It is the armor! <laughs> That's where she is now. Ooh. Tend to him. Hey, you're the big guy. I didn't know if I would ever see you again. Definitely John Favreau. Saving me on Navarre. I am sorry for your sacrifice. There are three of us now. That's all that is left? Just the three of them? How's Visla? Bring it to me. That dark Sarah spell belongs to him. His, uh, his, uh, tribe. They lasted less than 30 years. Mandalorians have existed 10,000. <laughs> What do you know of this blade? I am told it is the Dark Saber. Do you understand its significance? Whoever wields it can lead all of Mandalore. If, however, it is not won in combat and falls into the hands of the undeserving, it will be a curse unto the nation. The hilt is of a quality of Beskar I have never seen before. It was forged over a thousand years ago by the Mandalore Tar Visla. Ah. He was... Then you have completed your quest. I have. Then you may join our covert as we rebuild. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> Where did you come upon the Dark Saber? I defeated Moff Gideon. Did you kill him? No. I should have been killed. The songs of Eon's past foretold of the Mythosaur rising up to herald a new age of Mandalore. Where did you come upon the Beskar spear? It was the gift of a Jedi. It can block a lightsaber. Ahsoka. I used it to defeat Moff Gideon. Mandalorian steel is meant for armor, not weapons. Then forge it into armor. Hmm. The Dark Saber is a more noble weapon for you to wield. Have you ever heard of Bo-Katan Kreese? Bo-Katan is a cautionary tale. He once laid claim to rule Mandalore based purely on blood and the sword you now possess. But it was gifted to her and not won by Creed. By Sabine. Star Wars Bo Rebels. Bo-Katan Kreese. Had our sect <clears throat> not been cloistered on the moon of Concordia, we would have not survived the Great Purge. All right, a little backstory. Those born of Mandalore strayed away from the path. Eventually, the Imperial interlopers destroyed all that we knew and loved in the Night of a Thousand Tears. Ooh. Those robots from, um, uh, Rogue One. What shall I forge? Something for a foundling. Rogu. <laughs> for a specific foundling, Grogu. Yay! He's no longer in your care. He's with his own kind now. I want to see him. Oh, he misses sure he's him. Safe. Jedi must forego all attachment. That is the opposite of our creed. Loyalty and solidarity are the way. What shall I forge for the foundling, Grogu? A little helmet, a little armor for him.
that's too small for a uh, helmet and armor. Could be a necklace. He's having difficulty with, uh, wielding and attacking. Nope, he fell. <laughs> you are fighting against the blade. I get, to get back, so. <laughs> Similar to when the Tuscan Raider was training, um, uh, a Boba Fett. Maybe the dark saber belongs in someone else's hands. Uh oh. It was forged by my ancestor, founder of House Vizla. He has a claim to it. And now it belongs to me. Because you won it in combat. That's right. And now I will win it from you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> do you agree to this duel, Din Djarin? I do. Dark Saber versus a Viper Blade and a Shield. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, he has. A couple times. By creed, you must vow. I have. Then you are a Mandalorian no more. Oh, that stinks. How can I atone? Leave apostate. According to creed, one may only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. Oh, is that all? But the mines have all been destroyed. No, oh, that's not good. This is the way. His whole identity was to be a Mandalorian. Now he's no longer a, a, a Mandalorian per se. Excuse me, sir. You're going to have to remove your weapons. <laughs> Passed by the TSA, the Space TSA. <laughs> Putting all his weapons in there. Whistling birds. <laughs> Ooh. Make sure to secure that. I know everything that's in there. <laughs> Isn't always the case, a young kid uh, staring back at you. <laughs> Wonder if he has the. Oh, he's taking out the ball, in the ship. Oh, it's a, it's the whatever for Grogu. Eh, kind of shaped like Grogu's head. <laughs> I'm all sizely. Alright. Everything's there. <laughs> Fortunately. Wait. Isn't that... The robot from uh, Jedi Fallen Order? Cal Kestis' robot? It's Ava Sedaris, the mechanic. Get in there and move that engine block so I can blast it. Okay, it's not here. Maybe it ran... Oh, oh. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> Where's Mando? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Just in time. I got your message. Message? What message? You said you found me a replacement for the Razor Crest. Yeah, that's right. That's what I said. That's what I do. I've been working my butt off. Hey! That's the Nobu um, Star Starfighter. Where's the Razor Crest? From Phantom Crest? Menace. I never said that. The one Anakin was in. This is an N. One starfighter, handmade for the Royal Guard and commissioned personally by the Queen of Naboo. This <laughs> is a pile of junk. Do you want your credits back? Yes. You got here a lot earlier than I expected, and, and I didn't get a chance to finish. I mean, clearly, you can see I've got all the parts right here. 
What I'm going to do, just because I like you, is I'm going to add on some custom modifications that'll make her faster than a father. Come on! You gotta see the potential! I'm telling you, Mando, you gotta believe me. This is a classic. <laughs> Falling apart. No, oh, a little higher. I, I can't even see what I'm doing. Stop Man, flashbacks of my dad um, Focus. <laughs> on, uh, right working now. on the car. The Jawas had a turbonic venturi assimilator from a Galactic <laughs> Republic era. Yeah, don't fighter. ask. Well, they didn't have it. From where? Tatooine is a garden of many bounties. I don't understand. They I stole it. Less. I don't ask, they don't tell. <laughs> they give me what I ask for in exchange. I let them pick through my dumpster. Can I meet them? Yeah, sure. Dated a Jawa for a while. Huh. They're quite furry. Free. Okay, that's interesting. She speaks frog and um, a Jawa. Kind of like uh, Amanda's going through a midlife crisis and working on a project. The entire vapor manifold is missing. Trust me. The last thing you want strangling your thrust capacitor is a vapor manifold. That's why I'm reinforcing your compression housing. And you can access it by using this Kinesio switch right here. You hit this mm. button, you're going to evacuate your exhaust manifold. If you know Nitrous. What you mean. That was fast. These critters could find a scud in a krill pond. Will that do? Where did they get a cryogenic density combustion booster? They said they crawled under a pike spice runner and crimped it off while they were refueling. <laughs> they stole it. Little fellas. <laughs> But that engine coat like, kind of looks like a Mustang, a vehicle, a space aircraft version of a Mustang. What happened to the droid port? I hogged it out. You know, I figured with your disposition, you'd want to forego the astromech. <laughs> hey! Car seat for Grogu. Watch your language. <laughs> start her up. Really? Yeah, start her up. Even sounds like a Mustang. That's a lot of engine for a little ship. Yeah, well, see what she can do. Engaging forward drives. She handles a little bumpy. You're used to a gunship, but she's a starfighter, so fly her like one. Okay. <laughs> Dang, Farrick, <Derek>, she's fast. <laughs> Controls are real snappy. How's the maneuverability? You tell me. Point your navigational disposition between the two sides. You'll come up to Beggar's Canyon. How's the handling? Tight. She tracks like a rail speeder. What did I tell you? Right, here we go. The real test in space. Looks like they're gonna fall apart. Or break apart. He's gonna wave back. Oh, just nod. <laughs> oh! X wings. Was I doing something wrong, officer? Hmm. Your engine model doesn't match your power drive. Relinquish your flight controls for remote control access. Uh, hold on a second, there, Lieutenant. I think we can let him off with a warning this time. One thing before you go. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. it's it's a, it's the pilot from the passenger episode. I think you have the wrong guy, officer. That ship showed up on a transponder log back in Navarro, in an incident involving Imperial remnants. Uh oh. I'm just connecting some dots here. Uh oh. The nitrous. And he's gone. <laughs> no trace on our sensors. Are we reporting this? You want to go back to base? Fill out reports all day? <laughs> nah. No, sir. Well, how was it? Wizard. Wizard. <laughs> Those oh, by the way, an old friend of yours dropped by, said she was looking for you. A friend of mine? Don't worry. I told her I didn't know where you were. she tell you her name? Fennec Shan. <laughs> hey, Fennec. <laughs> I thought you said that the hangar security system was up. By any chance, are you looking for work? Might could be. Pay is good. What's the bounty? No bounty. We need muscle. Boba Fett. Mm. He sure would appreciate it. Elements on the house. Nice. <laughs> First, I 
gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Grogu! Yes! This ain't Grogu! Alright, episode 5 of the Return of the Mandalorian, and this is basically all about Mando, Din Djarin. And, um, all throughout the episode, we saw that, uh, um, he misses, uh, the little guy, uh, Grogu. And to the point where he, um, asked the, uh, the, the armorer, who we have wondered where she's been all this time. And now she's settled on that, um, uh, colony, uh, along with the big guy. Um, we don't know as John Favreau, um, inside that uh, armor, but in case, um, um, Amando asks uh, the armor to fashion something for Grogu, uh, something special. And at first, I thought it was a helmet or armor, but it's something small. Um, could be some kind of jewelry. But um, yeah, when he when when he was uh, in that uh, in that uh, space shuttle, um, he took it out. But I th at first, I thought it was taking out the ball to remember his son. But uh, it was a it was a, that gift. Um, that, uh, what, uh, that fashion out of, um, a Beskar. I don't know what it is, uh, but it's something that, um, that he'll, he'll possibly wear, um, around his neck or, um, or something. Uh, at first I thought, it, like I said, I thought it was a helmet, um, with his ear sticking out of it, or whatever the case may be, but yeah, um, uh, he was, in, in a sense, he's been doing odd jobs, doing bounties, and possibly having a midlife crisis because he, without Rogu, he is kind of kind of feeling um, incomplete, um, a father without his son, and um, uh, and uh, um, trying to keep busy. And um, and and when his on his return to Mos Eisley, he's reunited with a uh, with um, the mechanic uh, Amos Sedaris, and uh, in order to keep him busy, he uh, basically helps rebuild. Is a new ship, uh, the one from Phantom Menace, the, new, the Naboo um, Starfighter, which Anakin uh, got in when, when there was getting really pretty uh, dangerous as uh, Qui Gon and Obi Wan were fighting um, uh, Darth Maul. And uh, he ends up uh, in that uh, space base and ends up um, uh, helping the uh, rebels win. Against the uh, the uh, the bad guys, uh, and um, yeah, uh, he ends up uh, building or help with the assistance of uh, the droids and Amy Sedaris, the mechanic, a modified um, space um, uh, uh, Mustang of sorts, and, and you can tell by the engine, it's kind of it's the Mustang of space vehicles, space aircraft. So. Yeah, that was awesome to see, and and, uh, and 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 near the end of the episode, or almost at the end of the episode, um, we see Fennec Shand appear and um, ask for his services, and she offered to pay him, but he's doing it for free. But before um, uh, going to uh, to join uh, both and his crew, um, he's, he's, he told Fennec they're, they're, they're going to make a stop and see his little buddy, his son, Grogu. That's going to be a treat, to say the least. We all want to see Grogu, Grogu um, and see how much he's uh, uh, grown as a Jedi, and possibly can he talk now? And um, that's, if, it, if that doesn't happen in uh, the next episode, it's a cruel twist, of, um, um, a cruel torture right there. And we're possibly going to wait until uh, Man The Mandalorian Season 3. So, yeah. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed my reaction to this episode. And if you enjoyed my reaction or any of my past reactions, Star Wars reactions, or um, other sections of my channel when it comes to sci-fi, um, DC, uh, uh, MCU, um, or 80s One Season Wonder, or my YG Anime channel for all things anime, uh, link is right up there. Check it out. Support that channel. Like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell in order to be notified of any future videos being posted out on either channel. And when when it comes to my full length reactions, um, they posted my Patreon and Rumble. Um, they're, they're all they're all unedited, unedited, um, and uh, you know, I sync up with the episode on your end and watch it along uh, as I watch that reaction on my end, the video. 
um, um, to be exact, and both links along my uh, uh, all of my um, social media links to post underneath this video in the description section. And uh, with that said, I hope you continue, uh, come back and uh, support my channel. Um, if, if, at, if it's not at 300, uh, help me out with that reaching that goal and then going on to the to the next goal, 310, 320, and on to 400. Just baby steps, all right? And with that said, tip my hat to you. May the force be with you. And until next time for Mando, um, not Mando, the Man, uh, Book of Boba Fett episode number six, all right? Later.